Visco. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Visco YouTube channel. Today, I'll be showing you two powerful search tools available in Equivision system, namely Smart Search and Echo Search. These tools are designed to make video playback and footage retrieval more efficient and precise. So now, let's explore the common playback challenges and how these two features help to overcome them. So while playback is a very useful feature, there are several issues normally faced by the user when using them. One of which is that it is a very time-consuming process to use as you need to carefully check all the recordings that you have one by one. One particular other issue is that usually in a large regarding data set, you need to search a lot of the playbacks themselves as you cannot pinpoint any particular events. One other issue that keeps facing you playback users is that there seems to have a lack of accuracy, meaning that you can miss any events or person that you might want to look for. So, there are two solutions for this, namely Smart Search and AccuSearch. For Smart Search, it allows the users to refine their searches by defining any specific areas or lines and only focusing on that region whether an incident is likely to have occurred. This allows the user to precisely check where the area of the incident may occur and detect whether a person or vehicle has passed through that area. Secondly, AccuSearch on the other hand is a powerful advanced AI powered tool in Hikvision recorders that makes searching for people and vehicles easier as instead of only detecting motion, it will only detect and filter human and vehicle activity. This reduces false alarms and you can quickly filter through all of your recordings for any particular persons or vehicles that you have in mind. However, for these two functions, there are several requirements to them. Namely, for the cameras, you must at least have a two series cameras or above. And for NVR, you must be within the Deep in Mind series, M series, and K series. I advise you to check the data sheet and may refer to your uh, providers for any whether the item supports the function or not. So now, since you are already accustomed to these two functions, let me now proceed to the demonstration part of this video. For this demonstration, I will be utilizing this DS2CD2043 G2i 4 megapixel AccuSense camera together with this DS7732 NXI K4, both of which are needed to utilize the AccuSearch function. Currently, I have the DS2CD2043 G2i camera added to the NVR. Now, to configure the AccuSearch function, it's quite easy. Just go to the configure menu here. Then, go to Intelligent Search, AccuSearch, and hit Enable. From here, you can either link all the available cameras that supports this AccuSearch function by clicking the Alt tab, or Click any of the individual cameras that supports it. As you can see, our 2043G2i camera can be selected, meaning it can support the AccuSearch function. To save, click Apply. Keep in mind that when you want to use the event detection through VCA by NVR, it may cause the NVR to disable the AccuSearch function. For example, in the event temp, if you want to utilize an older camera, like this DS2CD1123G0E, and for example, want to use the perimeter protection function, you can only enable it through the VCA mode by NVR. But as you enable it, it will warn you that enabling this function will make the AccuSearch function unavailable. In contrast, if you have 
a 2 series model and above that also supports the AccuSense function. You can still enable the perimeter protection function while still allowing the AccuSearch function to be utilized at the same time. However, on certain models like the 7732NXI M4, you can still enable the AccuSearch function while still utilizing the AI by NVR function here as it has multiple engines to work with. Now, I will show you how to utilize both the smart search function and the active search function to immediately pinpoint any person or vehicle in the footage. First of all, go to the playback tab, select the camera that you want to search the footage of, and also the date of the recording. Now, for example, if you want to check whether a person or vehicle has passed through an area, for, for example, this one, you can first utilize the smart search function. To utilize it, first click the smart search function here, and then immediately an area appears on the view. This area can be adjusted by moving it, adjusting the size, and also deleting it with this clear button. You can also utilize a draw line function here to check whether a person has crossed this line or not. But now, I'll utilize the draw area function and then adjust it accordingly. After refining your area, you can then click the search icon here to utilize the smart search. As you can see from the bottom uh, bar here, it will highlight any person or vehicle that has crossed this very line and filter out any other irrelevant data. This helps in refining your searches to an area that is of your interest. Now then, you can utilize the skip normal video function to check immediately if a person has crossed this very line. After you find the person or vehicle of interest using smart search, you can then utilize the accurate search function to check all of your recordings for the presence of this person or vehicle. To do that, just click on the accurate search button on the bottom here. Then, as you can see, it will immediately highlight the person or vehicle that is within the view of the camera. You can also manually draw on the view to highlight any person or vehicle that was missed. Now, you can just click on the search button here and then we'll show all the clips of the detection event that shows the person. And from the AccuSearch tab, there are several options that you can utilize. First of all, you can adjust and expand the range of time of your searches. Next, you can select or deselect the number of channels of your, of your searches. And then, on the list itself, you can click on it to show the detection event video. From here, you can also add the favorites to one of the clips here. And then you can click on all, to select all of the clips here. And then you can also export it to an external USB drive. Besides that, you can also filter by favorites only or all. And then adjust the similarity to ensure accuracy and then sort by time either in ascending or descending order. And this same goes to the similarity function. And then you can also filter directly by the channel. From there, you can also check the favorite step here to check all your favorite clips. As you can see, this helps to quicken your searches by immediately cataloging all of this person's presence in all of your recordings, which saves a lot of time when you are searching tons and tons of video recordings. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for upcoming content, and I'll see you later.
Bye bye. Visco.